What's up, nerds? Phoenix from Phoenix TV here with week 12 of Let's Play Minecraft. Uh, this week is not going to be as big of a building week as some of the other ones. I need to do some sprucing up, hence the very lame name for this episode. It's just there's a bunch of little things that need to be done, and they set up for bigger things. So, bear with me for this week, and we will come back with something really, really cool. Basically, I need a whole bunch of, uh, of smooth stone to make this place look nice. And to do so, I'm going to start smelting some things. So, let's get to that. Okay, while the stone is smelting, I've recently discovered that my torch placing system is terrible. I kind of figured it was, but it was thoroughly established in my testing world, where I discovered that the secret to making things not spawn is to put it every seven blocks away. So I'm going to clear out all these excess torches I have laying around. And I'm going to do an actual torch system. Never thought I'd do that. There we go. As it turns to night, I'm not going to test these because I haven't got them all in. But basically the torches are going to be about this far apart. All the way around. Not bad. A little bit, a little bit more congested than I normally have with torches. But you know, it keeps things away from the base then I can't complain. Oh, I'd hate to imagine how bad this would suck if I wasn't any good at multiplication. Luckily, I had the wonderful Miss Gates for my multiplication tables. Well, that was unpleasant. Didn't think of that until now. Okay, this now marks two full days. Of me doing this. I wish I could have you guys share my pain a little bit, but at the same time, no one would watch. So, just to let you know, I'm progressively making all the torches back there, and then I think I'm finally going to get over to this side today. So, eventually, we'll move on to something a little more interesting. At least for me. You just wait a minute or two, and we'll be done. Exciting. Well, fans, welcome to the the third and final day of torching. At this point, I'm out of sticks, at least. I'm out of wood so I can make sticks, and I don't feel like making more so I can continue putting down torches. I have all of this back part lit up, along with most of the front. I just need to put in as many up here on this side as much as I can. And I should be good, hopefully. If not, I'm going to scream very loudly. And I don't think my neighbors would like that. One last thing I could use some better scaffolding is my cake curry. Because in my testing world, I discovered that uh, mobs can spawn up here, which is not great. So I will add some additional lighting to that, which is getting darker. And I'm aware, but I'm also trying to, you know, not worry about it too much. Because if my working, if my math is right, mobs shouldn't really spawn over here. They probably will, and they'll find a way, but hopefully this thing works. Because I'm crazy, let's let them spawn. See what happens. You should see them way off the distance, but not anywhere close.
So far, so good. Let's go a little closer toward the edges and see. Yeah, there's some spiders out there. But I'm not seeing anything spawning within the general boundaries of my base. Which is fantastic news. I can work at night if I want to. I probably won't, but I can. And that's the important thing. Fantastic. Took me three days in game and way more torches than I'd like to admit, but my base is pretty safe right now. Let's sleep soundly at that thought. Alright, and for my next step, some of you may remember a while back, whenever I was digging this tunnel, I said it's ugly. Because it is. It's like half... See? It's got things like that. It looks terrible. Let's throw in these stone blocks so it looks a little better. Because man is this thing ugly. Alright, see how much prettier this tunnel is now? A few minutes of work and the place looks so much better. Admittedly, not the grandest of designs and I need to fix the bottom for the lower levels, but at least it doesn't look haphazard. And this bottom bit, which you guys have seen maybe twice now, if you recall, a long time ago, I said that it looked ugly and that I'd fix it. Wouldn't be so bad if this floor didn't suck. We'll have to deal with that later, I guess. I wasn't kidding, it just took me a couple months. It's now not so haphazard, it's all solid stone. Yay. It's an improvement. I'm pleased. Next change I'd like to make, uh, the greenhouse doesn't does not have any reason to have an iron door. I mean, if they break it down, they might break some of my plants, but frankly, I'm a little overpowered when it comes to food anyway. So I don't think it's going to hurt me too much if I switch my doors from this wood door here because my actual base is far more important to me despite the fact that there's not as much important stuff in there I don't know it just seems like a smart thing to do and it fits the aesthetic better and really isn't that the most important thing how it looks gather up some leather slash steak Jesus, that is an absurd amount of, uh, of leather. Didn't realize. Maybe I forgot to uh, collect after the last time. I'm not sure, but holy crap. Let's breed the cows so they can continue making more baby cows. Let's see if we can collect the XP from this. And let's go see how many babies we got. That's a few. That's not bad. I'll settle for that. And I'm going to have more bread. Like I'm hurting for food. And what would an episode called Sprucing Up be if I didn't collect any spruce wood? Turn all that spruce into planks because I'm just not a big fan of storing logs. I don't normally keep that much wood on hand, so it works out well for me. Yes, I know. Thanks for letting me know about that game. Let's make some bookshelves. Seven. Nice. That will make a lot of headway on that library. Which, I'll go ahead and take you over there. Let you look at it on the inside. Cause I, I noticed that I mentioned it last week. Forgot to actually show you in here. Yeah, it's getting pretty full. have one entire side, at least the bottom level, there'll be something to fill those areas, but, you know, we're doing well. The cow farm is doing fantastically, especially since it's now paired up with an incredibly overpowered sugarcane farm. Okay, remember whenever I said that I wasn't going to do a big build this week? Okay, I wasn't lying. This is not going to be a big build, but it is going to be a build, and I'm, I'm a pretty big fan of how it looks especially because I've made a version of it two or three times now, but never for a video, so 
hopefully it turns out as good on this one as it has in the other ones. I'm gonna make me a little bridge. A nice little stone brick stone brick bridge to go over to the jungle. Why? We'll find out. There we go. That's the entire bridge. Totally kidding. I'm going to flesh it out on both sides. Just apparently have to make some more stone bricks. And that is the bridge, the fiery bridge thing that connects the main base to the jungle. Which currently has nothing in it, but I have some plans for that. We'll see how they turn out. In the meantime, that has been Sprucing Up, episode 12. Uh, that didn't do anything too huge, but at the same time, I did a lot of stuff. A lot of work. A lot of admin stuff. Anyway, Phoenix from Phoenix TV. Hope you enjoyed it. Tune in next week for more. Thanks for watching.